Nichols Retirement Empire. We are revisiting the government diet that was imposed on me. Uh, now, I act like she just made me do it, but that's not the case. Uh, I did this before, uh, lost a lot of weight. Uh, I lost, I went from like 220 something down to. 165. I want to say I was in the 160s. Um, and it's very easy to do. I'm going to give you some detail about it. That's what I'm having for lunch. Um, but anyway, we'll talk about it and I'll kind of tell what we're doing. If you remember from back when you were in school, if you can remember this far back, some of you I have some. Uh, I'm not going to say you're old, but let's just say we have some experienced uh, experienced people that watch my um, watch my videos. But anyway, uh, if you remember back to when you were in school, it was probably called the food pyramid, like when you took home economics class, which they don't call home economics anymore. Now they call it family and consumer sciences or something like that, something pretty cool sounding. Uh, but anyway... Uh, back then we called it the food pyramid and remember they would have like how many servings a day you would get of which kind of food and all this kind of thing so uh, I'm going to show you the modern version of this all right if you will type in your search on your computer USDA my plate it gives you a lot of choices here uh, Tammy gets on and looks at this and this is how she decides what we're going to eat for the week uh, but like I think the one that she uses is the I choose my plate Okay, but if you look if you look on online tools and You click on my plate plan It will take you to this and on this it lets you Go on here and choose like I am ages 14 plus and I pick how many calories okay it tells you how many calories you can have based on your age and size and I think I'm supposed to have about 2,000 something like that then you click on that and then it will tell you how much stuff you're supposed to have like you're supposed to have two cups of fruit I'm supposed to have two and a half cups of vegetables I'm supposed to have uh, no more than five and a half ounces of protein and I'm supposed to have three cups of dairy. So basically what we do is we take those guidelines and we use those. We take that and then we figure out, you know, based on our weight and age, uh, how many calories we can have. And then Tammy goes in and she makes a, um, a meal planner for us for the week. And in other words, she makes a menu for the week. And all she does is every day make sure that we get the right amount of vegetables, uh, the right amount of uh, fruits, and the right amount of protein, and the right amount of dairy. Cool thing about this is that you do not, uh, you don't have to really go without eating. Like, well, I could have a Coke. If I wanted to have Coke, I could have a Coke uh, with my meal, but then I couldn't have something sweet, you know, that night. Um, you, you know, it's not so much a count and calorie thing, although you do have to be aware of your calories because you need to be under a certain amount every day. Um, but it's not like you can't eat bread and you can't eat meat and you can't eat sweets and you can't, you know, you can eat those things. You just can't eat them every day and you can't eat a lot of them. So you just have to plan it out. Uh, the other thing that I think really works well with this too is that it keeps your metabolism going because instead of eating uh, you know just three meals or a lot of people just eat two meals uh, Like they skip breakfast or they won't eat at lunch and things like that uh, But instead of skipping a meal uh, You eat, you know, I eat like five or six times a day um, And it may just be a cup of carrots or a cup of nuts or something like that time, but I'm still eating So I don't feel hungry. I haven't been hungry on this at all uh, I'm getting used to eating smaller portions of stuff. So that helps me and uh, it's just a good, you know, it's a good way to eat. Now, the bad part of it is that it is hard to make sure that you get all those fruits and vegetables because fruits and vegetables can be kind of expensive. 
Uh, so we try to, you know, make sure we get stuff that's on sale or go to Aldi. They have good prices on their fruits and vegetables. Uh, but you have to really be careful and you can't just go out and eat anywhere. Uh, like if you want to go eat somewhere, you have to find a place that has real vegetables, not macaroni and cheese. Uh, and I know this is a shocker for some of you. But when you go to a restaurant and they have the vegetables listed and they have macaroni and cheese listed as a vegetable, macaroni and cheese is not a vegetable. It does not count as a vegetable. So sorry about that part. But uh, anyway, you got to be careful where you eat. Um, but it does work and it makes you feel better. And I, you know, when I go out and I walk and I do my exercise and stuff, I feel a lot better. I've already lost that weight. And I'll keep losing weight if I keep eating this way. But you have to make sure that you take the time to buy the food and then eat the food that you buy. Uh, so it works great. I recommend it if you're looking to lose weight. This is a good way to do it and a healthy way to do it. It makes you feel good. Now, the other thing, too, is that... Um, you need your wife or your husband to be on board <laughs> because if you're trying to eat like this by yourself uh, and the other person's eating whatever, that just, you, you cannot, it's hard to do it unless your husband or wife is doing the same thing. My kids have totally given it. They don't even, they fussed about it at first and then they realize we're not going to have this stuff in the refrigerator and we're not going to have this stuff and uh, they really did go out and get jobs um, and they really do use their money not all their money but they really do use their money to go out and get something to eat that they want to eat or get uh, some snacks because we don't have potato chips <laughs> we don't have uh, cookies and stuff like that in the thing and you know that, uh, or I don't know if everybody watches my channel, I know they don't all watch my wife's, but my wife has a cooking channel. And if you're not aware of that, and it is a Southern cooking show. Yesterday, for example, we spent the day trying to make the perfect fried chicken. Now, good luck trying to lose weight and stay on the food, you know, the my plate plan when you're working on the perfect fried chicken. Uh, but we were good. I didn't eat more than a whole leg worth of chicken in the process because we had to taste it and all this kind of stuff. But now her channel, I mean, I'm talking about pecan pie, cake, gravy and biscuits and all that, you know good southern stuff and you can have it in this you know in this plan you can have it but you have to fit it in with the, you know with the plan that you have for the week you have to fit it in uh, and then you have to also make sure that you don't go way over your calorie count um, but anyway I have that to deal with um, and considering that we've done pretty good because it's hard um, when when your channel is about chicken and dumplings and like I said biscuits and gravy and fried okra and stuff like that it's hard to make a salad and get people excited you have to, you got to bring it man you got to bring the southern cuisine out there so anyway uh it's been working great so my government diet that has been enforced on me has caused me to lose 11 pounds and i plan on losing more so um just thought i'd update you on that you guys have a good day um Nichols Retirement Empire. If you hadn't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And uh, thanks for all the comments. So, government diet update.